let's just jump right into Coke Cider. So that is coming up this this upcoming weekend. Um, you mentioned to me before we got on air that you haven't raced this race before, but anybody that's seen any clips of this knows this is another sand race. And so we're talking about our sand specialists coming out there and probably dominating. On the women's side, Denise Bessema. I see no other woman riding the sand as strong and as quickly. She showed us at Zonhoven that she is absolutely the force to be reckoned with. Made for some really great watching. Now on the men's side, we did talk about how there is a specialist of sorts in the men's side that was actually off my radar. Um, you said Lauren Sweck was your rider of choice to potentially have a really good result here at um, Coke Sida? Yeah, I might not go that far with it, but it, you can't have a sand race without noting Lauren Sweck as a potential winner. Uh, he got gapped out of the group at Tabor. Uh, he is also the rider who very notably didn't come to the U.S. for the World Cups. He's got a young family and he seems like someone, understandably, who is happy to race closer to home. And we all been wondering if that would be an advantage for him when the races came back to him. But uh, he did win the race in Leuven the day before Tabor and then must have flown that afternoon to Tabor. And you can imagine that took a little bit out of him on Sunday. Uh, it'd be interesting to see what kind of form he shows up at Coxada with, but you absolutely can't rule him out. I think the riders that I really am looking for um, is is Tone Ertz uh, and, and Vanderhaar again. Uh, you want to look back at Zonhoven and see who performed well in the sand there, and first and second was Ertz and Vanderhaar. They're both still on great form, and Vanderhaar is certainly ascendant right now, so Vanderhaar might be the guy. Uh, Ertz is better uh, in the sand than Vandar is, but with that second place at Zonhoven, certainly you can expect them to be racing for the win. Well, I'm really excited about this race this upcoming weekend. And then also just a, a, of note, um, a British rider, Anna Kay, is going to be out there as well on the women's side. Um, this is her first time out in the World Cup. She won the Leuven race this past weekend as well. And so, you know, we're shaking it up a little bit. We're, we're about to see this whole nother level of women's racing, I believe, come out. You know, Celine Alvarado won um, Coke Sida two years ago when they last had it in 2019. And, um, you know, as we've kind of discussed in the past, we feel like she's maybe not necessarily late coming into form, but she's going to be on an upward trajectory. And so, like, I'm really excited to see how Anna K plays out with Celine, with Denise, um, Anna, Puck. I mean, the women's race is going to be insane. I cannot wait. Live and on demand this upcoming weekend uh, on Flow Bikes.